guys, welcome back to Trading FX VPS. I'm back again here to show you on how to install multiple MT4 or MetaTrader 4 on your remote desktop. If you have any issues connecting to your remote desktop, feel free to hit onto our YouTube channel below and there will be guides on how to connect to your remote desktop. Alright, if you haven't watched the previous video on how to install Tigmail MT4 or MetaTrader 4, I will have the link in the description below and you can click on it to watch on how to install your MetaTrader 4 on your remote desktop. Right, let's head down to the video and you see that in the remote desktop connection, I already have my Tickmail uh, MT4 installed in my remote desktop. So firstly, to install multiple MetaTrader 4 or MT4 on your remote desktop, you will want to rename the application you have installed first over here, like the Tickmail MT4. So for example, you want to rename to something like MT4 1. So it's like this is the first one. And once you click on right click, rename, you press on enter, it will show that you need to provide administrator permission to rename this file. Just click on the continue and it will rename. So you want to head over to the Tickmail 4 setup. And if you can't find your Tickmail 4 setup, fret not, just go to file manager, go to the downloads, and you'll see that the Tickmail 4 setup is over here. I have already dragged it out to the desktop, so if you can't find your Tickmail 4 setup again, just go over to file manager, downloads, Tickmail 4 setup. Okay. So you want to double click on Tickmail 4 setup, click on yes. And go to the settings, and you'll see that the installation folder and the program group will have Tickmail MT4 client terminal. So what you want to do is to click on the installation folder, change the installation folder name to 2, and the program name to 2. So you can easily recognize and organize the meta trader. So once you have done that, click on next, and once it install, by right, the new MT4 will appear over here. So if you didn't appear, something has went wrong or you have missed some step uh, in front. So once you are done, click on finish. And you will be prompt with the same thing again and just click on the servers on whatever you want and you have to log in. So yep. So once you are done, click on exit. Click on the X and exit the application. So let me show you an example of what will go wrong if you forget to rename your MT4 setup. So let's see. Okay, go to take me file setup again. Click on yes. And you have forget to rename the uh, application, the second one on your desktop. So so go to settings, so you see that you have done the setting part where I put number 3 for my third uh, me MT4 click on next and what you realize that it doesn't create a new MT4 but it replaces the second one over here so if you have done it right it should have another MT4 uh, application over here so you click finish Everything will be reset. So if you wonder like how come did I lose my second uh MT4 account setup? This is the reason. So whatever you do, please remember to rename the application on your remote desktop, the shortcut, rename it first before you proceed to setting up or installing another MetaTrader 4. But if you have forgotten to do so, friend not, let's go to the found manager, go to the local disk and go to the program file x86 or times 86, click on it and you see that the file folder, the file folder that you have changed like for second entry, it will still be in your programs file, but just that the terminal 2 or the current terminal 2 won't be there. So what you want to do is click on it and you can click on terminal and you'll see that you will pop out the setup tool again. 
So if you have any issues, uh, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. And or if you want, you can email us at our support at support at tradingfxvps.com. If not, if this video helped you, feel free to leave a like and subscribe while you edit to catch our latest guide and videos from us.